struggling with, or I shouldn't say struggling, maybe that's not quite right. Um, definitely probably have to edit. We're wrestling with, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna upload that thing too. Okay, so the question was asked was this one, and there, the student is wrestling with this problem. So um, I'm not gonna go through the first three again. We're gonna deal with this, and we're draw, gonna draw a picture. So we have 57% uh, 50 of all violent felons in the prison system are repeat offenders. If 30 violent felons are randomly selected, find the probability that exactly 17 of them are repeat offenders, exactly 19, at least 16, excuse me, at most 19, at least 16. So really what we're talking about is if we have this discrete distribution that looks like this, for instance, remember each one of these lines is a stack of occurrences. So um, if what's the probability of me getting, and there's, I haven't drawn enough of these lines, okay? But let's say that this is the line for uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm gonna make some more lines, 16, 17, 18, 19. And say, like, let's say 19 is a short one like nine, so that it's centered around that. And so I have to draw these up like that. Two, four, 10, 11, good. So 14 is gonna be my long one, something like that. And I think I have to shorten this guy just a little bit. So something like that. The distribution, as I said, is gonna be kind of normal. Mine looks a little pointy, but that's neither here nor there, okay? So what we're trying to figure out is what's the probability of when I select 30 violent felons, um, I get some, it, like if I said exactly 17, I'm asking what is the probability of getting somebody in this column of 17? And so the, the way the Excel spreadsheet works is it's gonna select based on our numbers, I'll put 30 in there. Oh, I'm sorry, the trials is 30. And um, the number of successes we want, let's say the 17, that's exactly the 17, which means we wanna do false. So I guess I am reviewing one of these earlier questions. The probability is 0.57 because that's the probability or the percentage of felons that are repeat offenders. And so we get 14.6%. So this column is 14.6% of all of the points on this graph and remember each one of these stacks is a set of points okay now if we want cumulative we would type in true and instead of giving a 17 or type in tur we type in true and instead of getting 17 we're getting 17 and everything less than that so 17 and everything less than that that's a much larger percentage that's 55 percent chance of getting somebody in this grouping from 9 to 17 okay but that's not what we want what this question is asking is what is the probability of us getting, I gotta pull the question up again. What's the probability of us getting between 11 and 15? So between 11 and 15. So I want to know the probability of getting this, getting those points, okay? 11 through 15. So there is no between function, the way Excel works, there's no between. Either I'm getting everything, that number, and to the left, or, or I'm getting an exact value. Those are my only two choices. Why? Because mathematically we can figure out everything else with those two options. So how do we figure that out? Well, if I get the accumulative amount that includes 15 and everything less, that's half of my problem. I wanna cut away those guys and that's what I just did. 16, 17, 18 are not in our calculation anymore. So we're gonna, we're gonna click in 15 here, 15. And I'm gonna get 27.6%. So 27.6% is 15 and below. But that's too many because I'm including, in a, you know, inadvertently or knowingly, I'm including those, but I have to eliminate those. So what do I do? What I told you to do is take this number, I copy it, and I copy it right there where that little box is, and I hit, hit edit, paste special, and then I choose values. So I'm, I'm not typing the formula in there, I'm typing... 0.27604223. I'm typing the value that the formula in this box is spitting out. So hit okay. 
Alternatively, you can just type in that number, okay? Now, I'm gonna change the software so it selects 10 and less. So it'll include all the pink ones. Let me draw that this way. And I'm gonna subtract the pink ones from the white ones. So let's first get the pink ones. Uh, we don't want 15, we want it to 10. So that's kind of confusing because you'd want to type in 11. But if I type in 11, I'm cutting 11 out, but I want to include 11. So I have to go one less. So I'm going to type in 10 here, and that could be where the error is. It's often the, where the error is. And now I'm taking 27, and I'm subtracting that 26 to get the value. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm taking 27, and this is the probability of 10 and less. This form, This box already has take this one, subtract that one. And so I get that different amount. And so my answer is 0.2683, blah, 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 blah. And I think we can check that by doing the following. Uh, 2.2683, 0.2683, 0.2683, blah, blah, blah. Okay.